Our question is, why are missional communities essential to disciple making? I want to suggest that there are three primary and complementary structures that we need to be about at the church. The first is Sunday gatherings. The second is some form of missional community or community on mission. The third are DNA groups. And each of those are unique in, in what they accomplish that the others can't. That's why we need all three. If one of them is missing, there's going to be some lack or some weakness in, in the formation and the, uh, the discipleship of our people. And so specifically with missional communities, it creates a unique setting where there's a diverse group of people that are living a lot of life together, and that life is partially on mission. And so that's what other environments, other types of meetings, other types of projects don't provide. That's why missional communities are so unique in, in what they do. And so, again, it's a, it's a uh, group of people that are living life in the everyday together. So they're being shaped in ways that can't happen in other environments. And then a lot of that life is being experienced um, on the mission field, whether that's at work, in the neighborhood, at a park, at the beach, wherever they're living life together, but um, they're, they're learning and they're growing, they're experiencing this um, pursuit of people, loving and serving people that is, is deeply formative. And so you, missional communities are unique in be, being able to accomplish that uh, in the lives of people. Um, Luke 5, um, I believe we see Jesus forming a missional community with the disciples. Um, we see them calling them to himself. We see them begin to live life again, like I'm describing as a community, as a family that then goes on mission together. And so Luke 5 for me is such a clear example of Jesus calling a group of people to live in community like family and go on mission. And then they did that in the coming years. And that's how they were discipled. That's how they grew to become mature followers of Jesus.